D G R D G R D G R How we doing out there in the world everybody good to see you it is Thursday July 2nd 2021 what a day Oh man, lots to talk about. Hope you're having a great Thursday, okay? It might be Friday, actually, where you live around the world at this point. Uh, thanks for tuning in all around the world. We're going to get Mikhail Pence up on the screen first. There you are, Mikhail. You are the first on the screen. Howdy from Cape Town. See, speaking of around the world, there it is. Mikhail, you are the first on the screen. Hope you're doing well down in South Africa. Antifa as well? Oh my my. Two from South uh South Africa. That's amazing. Thanks for watching from literally the other the other edge of the world. I am so sorry about this sign. I don't know what's going on with the camera. Ah, uh, something to figure out in the in the new studio 2.0. Okay, what's up from Philly? And yes, uh-oh. It already happened. It already happened here. Butter that bread from New Jersey, says Greg. But we got new member coming in. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for joining up as a Studio Super fan. Thank you, Martin, so, so much. So, uh, before I forget, also, we got a box to open, okay? There it is. All right. So we're going to talk about FKTs today. We're going to talk about this 5K challenge. All right. I'll explain that in a little bit. We'll open this box. I'll answer your questions and we'll just have a good time today. Okay. Here we go. Daryl is here. Oh man. Thanks for watching, Daryl. Hello. Hello. Caleb's always tuning in. Thank you. Uh, Caleb, Justin from Malaysia, Toronto, Canada. Hello. Oh, Speaking of Duncan, okay, this is the Duncan, all right? This is the Duncan, all right? Duncan, um, big shout out to Duncan. We'll talk about the 5K challenge here in a little bit. Caleb is bringing the heat from Richmond, Virginia. So where are you watching from? I see Paris is here. The Netherlands is here. Hello from London. Oh, this is a good time for Europe, isn't it? Um, and yes, of course, DGR members over on Discord. If you have any questions for me, make sure you put them in the general chat. Okay. Oh, boy. Tommy's in the house. There he is getting the geese going. Hello, Tommy. Mm-hmm. From Oklahoma. Sydney, Australia is here. Parker's in the house. David is here. Antonio and Miguel. Oh, man. Okay, Christopher is saying, can't stick around, day off, out to get some vert. Christopher, that's a wise choice. Go get that vert, Christopher. Enjoy the time out there. Very, very good. Jacksonville's watching. Oh, man, all 142 people tuning in. Dave's is here from Costa Rica. And, yes, if you could, hit that like button. Let the rest of DGR know. In fact, I'm going to tweet this out right now if you uh bear with me okay just letting everybody know over on the twitter that in fact we are live here we go okay tweet it out there it is so let your friends know and let's do this how was your run today today was basically my slowest run of 2021 which makes sense after yesterday's FKT up in the mountains. Remember what I'm saying? Easy days, easy. Hard days, hard. Uh, yesterday was pretty hard, okay? Setting that FKT. And on that note, start getting your questions going about what is an FKT? How do I do an FKT? Uh, what's, what's a mental approach to FKTs? Uh, all these different components that goes into... FKTs. Okay, so get your questions going and we will in fact switch over right now to this guy. Okay, let's just put it up. All right, might as well. It is time. Oh, not that one. Here we go. There it is. Okay, get your questions going and I will answer them in here in a second. But first, I saw Kyle Miller first time tuning in live from Wisconsin. Go Cheeseheads, right? Kyle, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you hitting that uh, subscribe button and checking out a live stream. This is what we do in the studio. We hang out, have a good old time. So thank you, Kyle, for 
tuning in. Hello from Russia. Thank you for watching from Russia. Unbelievable. Okay, Arkansas is here. All right, so yeah, how was your run? Jonathan's watching from Germany. Very, very good. Okay, and yes, we will open this box. I have no idea what's in here. Uh, we'll open this up here in about 10 minutes or so. Okay, Forest of Dean Runners tuning in. Amazing run today, 5 by 4 k with 1K float, beast of a run in our heat wave over here. Wow, that is a solid, solid workout. I love it, Forrest the Dean Runner. And I've heard it's been very, very warm in the UK as of late. Okay, here we go. Just looking for your questions here. All right. As they stream in, Pietro did 15K easy, recovering from yesterday's repeats. Nice. Okay, Bo uh, Bush 1999. First ever trail run today. Think I will need to buy some trail shoes as this could become a regular thing. Once you get into trail running, it's hard to let go of it. It is just so it's just so fun to get out there in the vertical, fresh air, nature, uh, the, 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 the dirt. You know, it's easier on your legs because you're not pounding on the pavement and the concrete. So I hear you. And yes, the trail running shoe matrix will be publishing very soon i'm gonna say next week i don't know exactly when next week but very very soon so stay tuned for that okay mm -hmm -hmm. this is good let's get it rolling here okay question coming in or maybe it's more of a comment and let me just hold on here get that goff okay move more now james nielsen says john kelly versus damian hall uh these two constantly competing for FKTs against each other over here in the UK. So John Kelly, I don't know his full background. I think his job brought him to the UK, right? He moved over to the UK for his job. And he's one of the few, what has it been, like 15 people who have completed, um, oh my goodness, why am I, not Nolan's 14, um, in Tennessee. I'm drawing a blank right now oh my goodness what do i try? the crazy mountain race in tennessee why am i drawing a blank on it anyway john kelly is one of the few people to ever complete that and damian hall i believe is sponsored by innovate over in the uk okay shout out to innovate in fact innovate is the company that i i they're, they're not out here right now the shoe company that i used for my fkt yesterday so um, anyway, yes, John Kelly, Damian Hall, it's very fun to watch them go after it. Okay, so let's get some questions going. Mario's here. Thank you, Mario, for making your presence known in the live stream. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I'm just trying to find your questions. Watching from Phoenix, Arizona, recovery pool workout today. Oh, man. So, Tommy, what do I think about the Badwater 135? I just don't know if I'd ever really want to do it personally. It's been amazing to watch. Um, it's just an, it's an incredible event, Tommy. Very, very gut-wrenching. Barkley, Barkley, Barkley. Oh, it's like a lot of thoughts going through my head. So, thank you, Barkley. There you go, Patrick and everybody else. Um, okay. Mm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm just trying to find. Yes, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy's got it too. Um correct. He, John, works with computers, etc. in Bristol. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what questions do you have for me? About FKTs, if you saw today's vlog, I did an FKT yesterday here in Colorado. And then we will open this box, and then we'll talk about the Duncan 5K Challenge. Actually, as the question, actually, we're going to do it right now as the questions come in. So, here's the deal. And by the way, shout out to Soar for sending this. Again, another company, I think, from the UK. Soar, S-O-A-R. Uh, they sent me this kit. I kind of like the checkered look. So it's, uh, I, that's actually what I wore in yesterday for yesterday's FKT. Uh, the singlet I, it was a sore singlet, okay? So if you haven't seen it, you can go check that out. And as I am talking here, 
One second. Uh-huh. We're getting you on the screen, Eric. Thank you, Eric, for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Uh, help support the channel. And yes, Eric is a super chat superstar. All right. Eric's name is going to be going across the ticker down below. Thank you, Eric, for always supporting. Eric says, good luck in your final month plus of training for Pikes Peak. Keep up the good work and hope the move goes smoothly. Eric, thank you. That's awesome. I appreciate it. It's, I tell you what, Eric, I can't, I mean, Bridget and I, uh, true love, we were talking this morning how we could literally be driving around like crazy people in Denver right now looking for a house and so we're just beyond grateful that we found a house in the first weekend it's unbelievable and yes i'll just say it sets me up well for pike's peak because i can frankly rest more and put more time toward training for pike's peak so eric it's uh ever grateful thank you for the super chat okay um eric the red unrelated to running when is moving day August 5th, okay? August 5th, August 5th, August 5th. All right, if all goes well, you know, we still got to sign the papers and all that good stuff. Okay, here we go. Um, The Duncan 5K Challenge, and I wish I had, and actually I'm going to jump into Discord right now. So, as you know, there's members of the channel. If you become a member of the channel, you get access to Discord. Well, there is a... Uh, uh, a member, his name's Duncan, I believe Duncan, Ireland, or, oh, that's, oh, that's gonna get me in trouble, I think it's, I yeah, oh shit, Ireland, um, I do believe, so he came up with this idea, he's just a vlog viewer, vlog fan, someday a, f uh, a vlog friend, right, Duncan, we're gonna hang out someday in Ireland, I believe, so he came up with this idea where, uh, we could do a 5k challenge and I'm not gonna nail the rules exactly but here we go basically the idea is to is to pick any time for a 5k so let's say for me my goal is probably gonna be 25 minutes so five minutes per kilometer okay so the goal the the challenge of this 5k is to what what people are gonna do is cover their watch with a piece of tape or with something so that you can't look at the watch. But you're gonna do, you're gonna run a 5K, so you need to find a course that's marked off or uh, maybe something in your ear that lets you know, like, okay, you've, you've gone five kilometers. But the goal is to pick a time, your finishing time, and then run the 5K and get as close to possible to your predicted time without looking at the watch okay so it's all about running by feel which you know that's how i train that's how i race i mean i go by feel and so i love this challenge duncan thank you for thinking of it and you can make your predictions and put them into discord okay with everybody as far as it but you have to be a member however put them on facebook group put them on twitter um but if you want to really get involved, it's over on Discord. It's called the Duncan 5K Challenge, okay? So there you go. It's going to be fun. I honestly, I'm probably going to run 20 miles tomorrow in the mountains. And then I don't know where I'm going to do the 5K, if I'm going to do it up in the mountains or if I'm going to do it back down in Denver. And so I'm going to go, I might even do like five minutes I might do like 28 minutes. I'm going to go slow, bopping along. But the whole idea, again, is to teach ourselves how to pace ourselves better. Okay? So, again, Butter My Bread Club members, uh, Studio Super fans, DGR Race Crew, make, sure, make your predictions today. I should mention this. Today, and then the challenge is tomorrow, July 23rd. Okay, tomorrow, July 23rd is the official challenge. So, um, and then you take a picture. And so the rules are all posted on Discord. But then you'll take a picture to prove your splits. Um, and then you'll post them in Discord. I'm probably missing some things, but that's the general idea. All the details, once again, 
or on Discord. It's going to be fun. The Duncan 5K Challenge next year. Next year we're going to make T-shirts. Watch out! It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get exciting. So anyway, Duncan 5K Challenge on Discord, and it's going to be good. Okay, Amber's here listening. Yes, Amber, so so fun. Uh, Matthias is saying nice challenge. Um, so Ben, so the it's tomorrow, July 23rd. But you got to make your prediction today. I'll probably go with. I probably need to make it like 520 per kilometer for me or 530 because I'm going to be so tired tomorrow. I just know it. Um, there you have it. Sound good? Okay, let me hop back over to YouTube. So that's the Duncan 5K challenge. Uh-huh. So good. Yeah, for the shirts, says Amber. Um, so Steve is saying predict today, run tomorrow. Okay, so make your prediction today. So I got to do the math. Well, five minutes would be 25 minutes. So I'm uh, my legs are just going to be so tired. It's going to be fun. Okay, Amber's here. Okay, let me hop back in. Make sure I'm not missing any anything on YouTube. And we'll open this box. Um, sorry if I missed a few questions. Let me just make sure. Okay, here we go. Ken is asking, are you familiar with the Tunnel Hill 50 and 100-mile races? One long, steady hill up and down on crushed uh, limestone when what neutral shoe would you recommend for a fast 50 miler that is coming from ken and ken i think i found it there it is ken thank you for being a member of the channel i am familiar with it in the sense that i've heard of it i think i've seen pictures of the crushed limestone is it an out and back or is it like a hundred miles out let me know. I'd be very curious. I know people go there and they run fast. Um, I mean, you probably got to go with a carbon fiber plate. I think I've seen people race right in the carbon. I think that's what they do. They run in the carbon fiber plate shoes, if I'm not mistaken, even though it's on crushed limestone. It's not on pavement. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ken... New Balance RC Elite or New Balance RC Elite 2 because it's a little softer. If you, you know, save the legs a little bit. That would, I would, I would really, I would look at that if you want to have a little softer ride because after 50K, the legs start bark. After a marathon, the let, but really after 50K, the legs might start barking a lot. If you want something a little, uh, little more firm a little more yeah i just say firm is the hoka carbon x2 um yeah ken give me some more details exciting congratulations go get it i love it okay here we go i know i missed a couple others coming in thank you for using that question mark it just helps me see da, 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 da. Mm -hmm -hmm. okay hold on Shh. Going back down to the bottom. Okay, we'll open this guy up here in a minute. Hello from Delaware. Okay, Adruma, uh, Clifton 8 or Mach 4? Depends on what you'd like it for. Uh, very different shoes. I, I mean, Mach 4. If I could only buy one, I'd say Mach 4. And the Mach 4 could be a daily trainer, tempo day, frank leave, and long run. Clifton 8 didn't get me that excited in 2021 thanks for tuning in and i talk about both of these shoes in the road running shoe matrix from two days ago so if you may or three days ago if you missed that vlog go check it out road running shoe matrix okay mm -hmm -hmm. uh oh i think i see a super chat coming in oh man come on now i do appreciate it let's get you up on the screen in case you are not because i recognize your name a hundred percent kevin there you go kevin is a hundred percent a super chat superstar thank you kevin onward and upward he says let's go hello from oklahoma i have a half marathon saturday eight miles dirt five miles road would the alpha fly slash next percent two work for that terrain or should i go with something like the endorphin speed um so it depends on the what what type of dirt you're talking about. I'm guessing you're talking about like a dirt road. So absolutely, I would personally go next percent too, okay? If you have access to all three of those shoes, 
I, I, if you want to run as fast as possible, I would go next percent too. Bearing in mind, I don't know what quite you mean by eight miles of dirt. Um, if it's a trail, I would not do a, I would not do the next percent too. I would probably lean in the direction of the endorphin speed. Again, it's so hard. I know we're like talking over YouTube, but uh, dirt is dirt could be a lot of different things. I call it a cup of dirt. And thank you all 201 people watching right now. So there you go, Kevin. Thank you for being a super chat superstar. There's Laura in the house. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Trevor, I know. He says, I was surprised when I saw that when I saw that the 1080 V11 wasn't in the matrix, do you still like it? I do. It just was bumped out. You know, the Nova Blast 2 kind of came down hard on the matrix. So, um, yeah, I still, I still like it. And frankly, the fresh foam more V3, you know, new balance, just, I, oh, that fresh foam more V3 is for easy day. I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, so I just saw, and I'm going to jump over to Discord here. So, speaking of new members, I see Q's, Q's RNR just hopped into the server on Discord. Welcome. And I'm going to give you a little little love in there. So, Q's RNR, thank you for joining up. That's awesome. And now you can chat and go crazy in Discord. We have a good time over there. Okay. Let me jump into general chat, see what questions I'm missing. I know I'm missing them. There they are. H-Town Q, what shoes are you currently debating for your Pikes Peak race? Uh, the Solomon Pulsar, and then yesterday's FKT shoe, the Innovate X-Talon G210. The Innovate X-Talon G210 is the shoe that I wore last year when I won. And then I wore it yesterday, and I set a three-minute... PR up Mount Beerstat. I think a six minute PR round trip on Mount Beerstat. Hard to hard to argue uh, uh, against that. It's gonna be a tough decision. There you go, H Town Q. Thank you for being a member and for hopping into Discord asking a question. Here we go, Alex. Thinking about FKTs. Have you ever created your own segment on Strava? Alex, I have on 14ers here in Colorado Colorado that simply don't have um, a segment. Alex, I should come up with my own challenge and segment. I think that's fascinating, Alex. I I think it's fascinating. I will. I will. And I maybe you just inspired me to do so. Thank you, Alex, for the question over on Discord. Caleb, here we go. What are, if any... The differences and similarities in your mental approach slash game plan for FKTs versus road races. Man, Caleb, Caleb, Caleb. First of all, you're out there alone. Like yesterday, there was, I probably passed 30 or 40 people up. It's a very popular mountain, Mount Beer stat. So I wasn't alone. But some FKTs, you are alone. You are out there alone. There's nobody around. <sighs> Caleb, the pressure is kind of off in the sense that you're not racing anybody. You're racing against other people's times. But what I love about it, Caleb, is you let it rip from the get-go. Like, literally, like, if you watch today's vlog, I just sprinted at the beginning. And guess what? If I blow up and I go out too fast, who cares? It's just you against the mountain. It's like it's – the pressure is like a huge – it's not there. So anyway, that's a little difference there, Caleb. I just like to do FKTs and just let it rip, okay? And just see what happens. That's kind of my approach. Um, yeah, which is obviously a little different than road races in the sense that with road racing, like, you know, you got to pace. Like, uh, yeah, pacing is is definitely more critical. Whew, that's a big topic, Caleb. Thanks for being a member there and hopping into Discord. Okay, I saw one interesting come in. Mm -hmm. interesting okay here we go amber when do you when you do something like that how do you know exactly where the start and finish area is is there a place to look those up beforehand yes amber so to look up fkts you go to fastest known time or times i, I forget uh, dot com fastest known time or i forget if it's times or i think maybe it's both fastest known times dot com actually let's do it oh does anybody know fastest Okay, known time. I think it's fastestknowntime.com. 
me just add that there. Or is it fat? Can, can, hold on. Oh, on the fly. This is why I need. Ah, see, it's both. It redirects. That's interesting. I think it redirects to this. Okay. So I think you could type in either. So this has a good little, it's usually um, a description. And then you can also look it up on Strava. Uh, but this is the number one resource right there, right there, right there. Okay. And there's literally routes all around the world. Okay. All, and some are very popular. Some like, you know, people invent out of thin air. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I love it. This is so fun. Okay. Moving on, one more in here, and then we'll hop back to YouTube. Duncan about to be famous on the stream. Brace yourself. I saw you wore the new singlet for the FKT. Thoughts? So this is the same company, which also connects to Mind Blown. And full disclosure, I did not buy these. I didn't realize they were $93. If they are Mind Blown, I'm not, I can't confirm that. If it is $93, that's a lot. Is it worth it? I mean, the one yesterday is incredibly lightweight i think it might be the lightest singlet that i own and breathable if you're racing in a very hot environment very humid environment you know i mean that's a but i will say like i i mean this will last a, over a decade this might last the rest of my life okay um so i'm actually all i'm actually a big fan of buying nice gear and just making sure it lasts forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So making that upfront investment financially usually pays off. Usually pays off. Okay. Whoo, what a day, what a day. Okay, this is good. Greeley in the house. Oh, man. Okay, let me hop back over into YouTube. 211 people tuning in. Here we go. That's right, Amber. That's right. There it is. Okay. Um... Mm -hmm. Keith Wiggins, Seth, training for my first half marathon at the end of October. How many weeks would you suggest devoting to base building before adding in variations of speed? I mean, I would say, Keith, don't know your full background. I would go six weeks. At, I would go s at least six weeks. Um, and then, you know, I would say basically halfway through the training block, start to mix in a little bit of baby, baby speed. Um, and then I would say around eight weeks, you could start to add in more speed. Okay. But I would say at least six weeks of base building. Yeah. And ideally eight. So I don't know. End of October. Let's see. August, September, October. Yeah. So if you start now, yeah, I would recommend seven to eight weeks, Keith. I really would. It'll pay off long-term, but don't ra don't ramp up your volume too quickly you know, if you reach your peak volume around week seven, you know, boom. So just slowly work your way up there. Here we go. Here we go. So much fun. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Mandy. Going for a run. Bye, y'all. Daniel, have a good run. Enjoy. Manuel's here. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I mean, listen. Here's the deal. You usually get, the racing one is ninety three dollars. The one you're wearing is a bit less. Okay, thank you. Honestly, okay, it's like I don't have time to research all the comp. I'm I'm focused on running shoes. They sent this to me, and I'm grateful. Um, all I can report to you is that it's very lightweight and very breathable. Okay, ninety three dollars. That is a lot. I mean, Christmas. Ah, Chris, Christmas. Have your family pool together. All I want for Christmas is my sore singlet. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm -hmm. Stefan, one little quick tip is, um, you know, don't be afraid to buy one of those things <laughs> that wraps around your neck that you can put in a freezer. So what are those things called? Everybody help me out. It's like you, I see people wear them at like Disney World. <laughs> you know, you're walking around Disney World or you're walking somewhere where it's really hot. You just wrap it around, but it's it's like beads. It's like soft and just to help keep you cool. Also, you can buy hats that have it as well. What is it? I have no, I don't own one because it's not that hot here in Colorado, but um, it's like a bandana that wraps around your neck and it's frozen. So that would be one idea. Of course, you know, you're your your hydration uh tips 
uh, hydration. Yeah, hydration, hydration. Uh, but you don't want to overhydrate either. You know, that can be, yeah, kind of like a gator. Kind of like a gator. Man, I it's not quite a gator. I don't know if it's quite, maybe it's called a gator. I don't know, but it's like a bandana that's filled with beads that gets wet. And then you put it in the freezer and then you can wrap it around your neck. Or, you know, they use it a lot at like uh, Western States 100. Okay. There you go. Frog tog. Okay. Is that what it's called? Can anybody confirm that? Frog tog? Stefan, you are very welcome. Frog tog. Okay. We're getting some reports here. Oh, man. I See, I don't own, I don't own one, but that is brilliant. Thank you, Antonio and Laura. Okay. I love it. This is DGR coming together here. It's a fabric. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Dermot is a member of the channel. I don't see why not Dermot. He's asking, is the Meta Racer legal for the track? Oh, well, let me just think. The Meta Racer, do you mean, wait, the Meta Racer? I think the Meta Racer definitely is. You don't mean the Meta Speed Sky. The Meta Racer, yeah. Um... I believe, yeah, I don't see why that would not be allowed in a track race. So, uh, don't quote me on that. But I don't see, I don't think the stack height is too, too high. Okay. Antonio has one. There you go. There you go, Stefan. Okay. All right, moving on up. Here we go. Let's open up this box. All right. I have no idea what's in here. So, let's get it going on the screen. You better believe it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks to all the super chat superstars as well. Keep the uh keep the shrew the shoes are rolling. Okay, one more before we go. Ben, thanks for being a member of the channel. Ben, if you could only do three speed work sessions ahead of a marathon taper, which ones would you choose? Oh man. Oh, that's a huge question, Ben. Um, of course. You know, I think you mean intervals, but you know me and, and uh, threshold runs. Big proponent of threshold runs, okay? I like to do three or four hard threshold runs before a marathon. But as far as intervals go, um, I like, you know, oh man, I don't know if I can give you three, but like a three by 5K with a 1K float in between whoo it's a doozy three by 5k with a 1k float in between okay um big fan even of um you know three by 3k with probably um less probably like two minutes off okay so three by 3k with two minutes off and um you know the classic you know the classic um, 20 by, you know, yeah, 20 by 400 for just that that finishing speed. 20 by 400 on the track with, uh, with 60 seconds rest. 20 by 400 with 60 seconds rest. I mean, those are just a few. I'm just thinking out loud. Or even like 16 by 500. I like to do that as well. 16 by 500. So just a little more than 400. Ben... You're the best onward and upward. <laughs> yes, H-Town Q, I did say that you can have a ice cream float in the middle of your marathon workout. Yes, indeed. Okay, here we go. Come on now. Let's get it going. What are your guesses? What's in the box? I have no clue. No clue. Okay. Boom. Okay. We're closing them. Okay. Okay, one, two, and three. Here we go. This arrived, I think, yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm, smells good. Feels like New Balance. Feels like a New Balance box. Just saying. Wait a second. Yep, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, and three. Oh. <laughs> 
My eyes are closed. I promise. I promise. Oh, this is uh, real TV here. Okay, hold on. You just got to trust me that I'm going to keep my eyes closed as long as I don't fall over. Hold on. I got I to gotta find the shoe. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I, oh, oh. I only found one. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Wait a second. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I think it's a trail shoe. Wait a minute. Oh my. Thank you. I know what. Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. Oh, the pulsar. It's Pulsar. Oh. We got it, everybody. We got it. We got it. <laughs> oh, so I have the Pulsar, okay? I already have the Pulsar, but it's too big, okay? So I asked Solomon to send me a smaller pair. Because I'm very, 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 very strongly considering the Pulsar for the Pikes Peak Marathon. But the other one was too big. Okay? So this guy is... I think I went crazy enough, everybody. I think I went a half size down. Oh, sorry. Full size down. For racing. Not for training. For racing. There you go. Okay. Whoa. Woo! Okay, so I'll try that on in a little bit. Okay, here we go, everybody. I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Duncan 5K Challenge we talked about. Um, FKTs we talked about. I opened the box. Am I missing anything else? I've got to film today's vlog, so I actually got to roll pretty quick. We'll take a few more questions. And uh, if you don't know what the Duncan 5K Challenge is, hop over to Discord if you're a member there. And if not, oh yeah, it's also down in the description below this live stream here on just just down below. Okay, so go down there and you can read up on it. Okay, anything else, man? What did I miss here? Okay, let me jump back into the live stream chat. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Do do do. Mm hmm. 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 Oh, always oh, throwing down. He's a super chat superstar. Unbelievable, John. Unbelievable. Here we go. Congrats on the FKT. Do you have a dream race you'd like to run in one run in one day? Have four friends running New York City Marathon, so we will be rooting you and them. John. Definitely, you know, definitely UTMB, of course. Um even the um Oh, man. Well, Western States, as far as long stuff, you know, I'd love to run Boston, but frankly, I'm just as excited about London and Berlin. I'll just I'll just say that much. Um, you know, the um, no, why all these names, the the, the race in Scotland, the skyline, um, the Ring of Steel, the Ring of Steel over in Scotland. Definitely a race I want to do. Um you know, there's something, well, I want to do um, Barkley, okay, in Tennessee. want to do Barkley someday. Um, Tarawera has, has my interest. Oh, man, the, 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 <laughs> the volume of racing is very, very high. So, yeah. Antonio, here we go. Mach 4. So, John, thank you for being a super chat, super uh, superstar, John. Mach 4, Rebel V2 for a 10K. I think Rebel V2. Yeah, it's a little soft, but I think I'd go Rebel V2. It's lighter. It's about an ounce lighter. That's a tough one. Between those two, now the Mach 4 will be a little more little more responsive, but the Rebel V2, it's nice, especially if you can get up on your toes. 
I know. Yes, you did, John. You opened a Pandora's box. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Jeremy agrees with me. Jeremy put that comment up um, before I said anything, before I saw his comment. So Jeremy and I are on the same wavelength here. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is fun. I love this stuff. Here we go. Antonio, I'm a senior in high school and I've been hovering around 45 miles. Should I go any higher? Uh, Antonio, just so you know, my brother was 10th in the nation at Foot Locker off of about that similar mileage, okay? We had great speed work. Uh, I don't, listen, some high school programs go up to 70 miles a week. I've even seen 75 miles a week. That's way too much for a high schooler. I think 45 is solid. Uh, if you wanted to go to 50, I wouldn't, I definitely would not go above 55. I think 45 is really not, is a solid, I topped out at about 40 and I felt when I was in high school and I felt like it wasn't enough, just so you know, 35 to 40. Um, so I think 45 is a beautiful thing. It's really about that speed. I mean, the 5k Antonio, it's a fast, fast race. So yeah, you need that aerobic base a hundred percent. But it's like you need speed as well in those fast twitch muscle fibers, which you get through um, you get through speed work and plyometrics and form drills. It's not just all about running in volume. There you go, Antonio. Okay, here we go. One more, one more. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, man, so many good. Whew. Thank you, guys. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are just the best. You're the best. Okay, uh, Tate. Shoe to help slow myself down on easy days slash long runs using the Noosa 13 as my daily trainer, Invincible Clifton. Um, Tate, I, I wouldn't do the Invincible because there's so much energy return through the Zumex. It's like hard to go slow in that shoe. Um, even though I put it in the easy day, it's like just got so much bounce. I would go New Balance Fresh Foam More V3. Now, it's a little more expensive than – it's $30 more than the Clifton 8. But, man, I love – the Fresh Foam More V3 just feels so, so, so nice. Okay. Oh, David, come on now. I was just about to sign off, and then here comes David. We're going to get David up in the Super Chat Superstars. Thank you, David. Onward and upward. It looks uh, – David, Canada? Is that Canada? Uh, CA? $20, $20 from uh, Canada there. Thank you, David. I do appreciate it. David Faye is uh, now getting on the board for the Super Chat Superstars. Thank you, David. Um, Andy's money for the next FKT. Oh, man, David. It's fun. I mean, I'm not kidding, everybody. When I'm going up the mountain, and you heard me breathing in today's vlog, if you haven't seen today's vlog, like, I'm breathing. I uh, breathing hard i think about andy's i really do it's like those boys don't want to be disappointed and not get their andy's so um david thank you for covering the next andy's run whenever that is going to be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay there we go i'm a senior and my coach bumped my training down but with harder speed work and slower easy days i've progressed remarkably in just three months there you go it's a fine line, especially in high school, and especially for a 5K. Thank you, Mind Blown, for chiming in so much. Canadian, <laughs> Steve is still <laughs> our official um, monetary policy manager. Is that the right? No. What would be an international monetary policy manager is Steve. That'll be his. Uh, that'll be him there in the uh, over in Discord. Watch out. Love you, Steve. And Steve, we love you. Uh, oh, man, so many. <laughs> okay, I got to rock and roll. Onward and upward. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Discord, okay? And um, keep turning that door down. All right, I got to film a running shoe battle. Sound good? All right. There you go, Matt. There you go. Okay. Have a good day. As I always say, see you at 5 a.m. 5 a.m., tomorrow all right seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow